Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In my last video I said that I would make this as my next project, but since it's almost Christmas, I will be using these instead. I found these at Hobby Lobby, but they were a little bit on the expensive side, but anyway, to the bill. I started by looking up some houses from 0 BC to get an idea of what I was going to build. This was fun to open. Later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. The figures are very nicely detailed. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting. I will be using all the figures except for the kings. The first one I'll be using. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Is the baby. The first one I'll be using is the baby. I just needed to remove him from his current manger because I will be making him a new one. Save that bad boy for later. Baba Boo. In the olden days, the manger was a trough that would be used for holding corn, hay, or water, so it was actually made of stone. I used the tin foil to rough out the shape of the manger, which would make it easier to put the polymer clay on to finish your shape. My clay had sat in its container for pretty long, so it was really hard. Hey! That right there is emotional damage. I beat the clay to a pulp until it agreed to work, then flattened out some and applied it to the foil armature. Once that was done, I test fit and put it in the oven to let it cook. Hello guys, welcome! Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Put it in the oven to let it cook. To let it cook. Why? 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 <laughs> Once it was done cooking, I gave it a layer of stone gray acrylic paint, but then gave it a layer of gray fox off camera. Once that was done, I moved on to making the manger comfortable. I used this fake yellow long grass as a substitute for hay. I used this stuff as padding, and then I used an old white t-shirt that I've been chopping pieces out of for the blanket. I thought about rewrapping him, but decided not to. After that, I figured out which figures I was going to use, and it was time to move on to the base. For this project, I just used a whole heap of foam board. I also cut the jagged edges off so I would get a cleaner result. The measurements of the base are 12 by 12 inches and two layers of foam board. I then figured out the layout that I wanted for my figures. I used more foam board for the walls and the walls I cut out off camera. Once I had the walls done, I glued them in place and it was time for texture. I used hot mud instead of plaster of Paris because hot mud is a little more inexpensive. Meanwhile, I also added flocking to the mix to give it more texture. 
I added some paint, then water, and then mixed it all up. I used a brush to apply the paste, then I used long strokes to smooth it out. Once that was done, I set it aside and let it dry. About this time, I got an awesome care package from my good friend Boiler Hobby Time and the Craftsman. One of the things Boiler sent me was this Real Terrain Hobbies building kit and a few other things, so thanks guys. And I'll be using the things they sent me through the entire rest of this video. Once the base was done drying, it was time to start building the stalls. I use this picture as a reference for this house. I'm just building the bottom story of this house, but maybe in the future I will build the entire house. To build the stalls, I use this balsa wood that Boilai sent me, as well as this razor saw. Baba boy. I also use this wire brush to give the boards more texture. I then added all the boards. I cut the other boards out and glued them in off camera. Do I have liberty to put that in the video? What you just say? No. I also added a post in the corner. I then figured out the layout I wanted my people to be in. Then it was time to add even more texture. I sprayed on some watered down white glue and then brushed that around and then added some flocking and pebbles, which was made out of bark. That boy lies in me. To seal it all down, I sprayed on some isopropyl alcohol and watered down white glue. Once that was done, I left it to dry. Once that was dry, I used some Mod Podge and paint to protect the foam from the primer. Once it was all covered, it was time to prime it. After I'd primed and dried it, it was time to paint it. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. For the rest of the hay, I used this stuff. It's the yellow long grass I used earlier in this video. I just chopped it up into tiny pieces. I then unraveled the stuff that was stuck together and piled it up. I found the spot I liked it in and stuck it there. I left the base on these people, that way I could move them around later. This is some of the stuff Boilai sent me and I'll be using this for the foliage. The reason I did not add the kings is because they did not come as soon as he was born, they came later.